AFTV, what can I say? He's so disappointing today. It's, I think that the second goal in the game today summed up Arsenal's defending this season. Well, Terrible. Well, you've got to look at it. When we set up for the, for the game, we know that Leicester, they're going to do one thing, over the top to Jamie Vardy every single time. And the thing is, we started the game crap as it was. You know, we can't blame the sending off for playing like that. I've seen teams with 10 men in the past. They put this, that's meant to motivate you more. It wasn't a sending off, but we can't blame that as the sole purpose. As you to can't ignore it, it, though. You know what I mean? I yeah. mean, you can't ignore that when you're down at 10 men, it was nil-nil at the time. Mm -hmm. It was nearly half-time. Mm -hmm. We were closing in on half-time. It changed the game. Whether you want to say whatever you want to say about the, what's gone on after, it changes the game. You've got 10 men. I know, but think about it. All right, you tell us, how, how did we play in the first 20 minutes or so? Did we play much better in the first 20 minutes? Didn't play great, but it's nil-nil. No, it's nil-nil. We hardly touched the ball. If you look at it, we had about 20 touches or something in the first 20 minutes. But so it's nil-nil. Yes. It's nil-nil. It is nil-nil. So it does change the game, doesn't it? Of course it changes. I'm not saying it doesn't cha hmm. change the game, but I'm saying, does it make that much more of a difference? To me, the way we played today, probably not, because even after the sending off, it was obvious to me that we didn't know what we were doing. Look, M M Mkhitaryan, he's playing like a false right back or something. I don't even know what position he was playing. Second, second half, second half and first half, even Obama Yang, just because his name is Obama Yang, it doesn't mean we can't criticise him today. He's played, he's scored goals over the season, whatever. But today, if Iwobi did what Obama Yang did, or if, if any of them did what Obama Yang did, we would, we would have given them a lot of grief. But for me, his man of the match today is Leno, because without him, I genuinely believe he would have conceded about four or five goals at least. And I'm, I'm sure you agree on that, mm. that without Leno, we would have been in big trouble today because it just shows how weak our defence is in the summer. I don't know what we're even going to do on Thursday, Valencia, because they, they're not playing too bad themselves at the they're moment. They're a good team. They're yeah. Not, exactly. And they're, yeah, they're on decent form. Exactly. And I, I'm, I still don't know how we went to Napoli away and won 1-0. It, it, it baffles me. So for me, I think top four is done but we need to put all our eggs into the Europa League basket and then we move on from there. If we win Europa League, hopefully we'll have a little bit more money to spend over the summer. But even arguably with, with, our, with our owner, I don't even know. So we need to make, we need to literally get rid of half this team. It's, it's just unbelievable. Even on the bench, look at the bench. Who on that bench could you have brought on? At, even, even if it stayed nil-nil, who would you have brought on? El Neni, no. Gwenduzi to score a goal, no. Who else did we have? Will it to score a goal? Would you have bought him on? Probably not. We don't have we don't have that squad depth. So, if you look at it carefully, we we do say that oh we need to rest players, we need to do this and we need to do that. But we've got ourselves into this situation because if we beat Palace, we could have afforded to maybe lose at Leicester or at Wolves, maybe one of the games, and we still would have had a chance. But now we lost at Palace, we lost at Leicester, we lost at Wolves, and. Would you even be surprised if we lose to Brighton next week because they're fighting for survival? Would you be surprised? No. Exactly, and Burnley away, that's a typical 1-0 type of, 1-0 Burnley type of game. But again, because they're safe, it's last game of the season, there might not be much to play for. But it's just, we just need to take a long look at our, ourselves, really, that look, all the fans, everything, we all turn up every single week, you know, they're singing their hearts out, everything. But it gets to a point where you just think, I can't be bothered anymore. Like, I can't be bothered with this same performance every single week. And it's just, without Leno, we would have been in big trouble today. It's the best way to put it, really. Cool. Nice one.